and welcome to AnyConnect. As always, we've got some very sharp cookies here tonight, but that's the green room refreshments for you. The trick is to eat the blunt side first or they can take your face off. Hoping safely to negotiate both the quiz and the catering are, on my right, Duncan Enright, a physics graduate who hails from Pontefract but hates licorice. Dave Robinson, a magazine editor who plays keyboard in a soul band and has attended the Eurovision Song Contest seven times. And their captain, Paddy Baker, a Cambridge graduate and magazine editor who taught himself to read using the Radio Times. United by a passion for publishing, they are the headliners. Now, you lost your first game, Paddy, against the string section. What will you be doing differently this evening? We're going to think a little harder, talk a little faster and sweat a little more freely. I like to sweat freely throughout all shows. You are competing against, on my left, Katie Bateman, a psychology graduate who got engaged in a butterfly house and has never been on a roller coaster. Tristram Cole, an English graduate who recently moved from Sheffield to Wales to get away from all the people. And their captain, Dave Knapp, an engineering graduate who dreams of changing his name to Hugo Slavia. United by a weakness for words, they are the bookworms. You lost your first game to the Wayfarers. How have you been preparing for the game um, ahead? Well, we've been uh, analysing our, our previous match with slow motion replays uh, to see where we went wrong and sort of try and work out what to do this time. Interesting. Let's see if that helps. So both teams here have lost one game. That means tonight's losers will be going home and the winners charging forward into the competition. So good luck, all of you. Headliners, you won the toss. You'll be going first. Please choose a hieroglyph. Two reads, please. Ah, the music question. Oh, you will be right. hearing the clues. You need to hear a maximum of four. They all have something in common. What is it? First one coming in now. Next, please. <laughs> Next, please. Mona Lisa. Nat King Cole's. Chess pieces. You didn't need to hear the fourth giveaway clue, Queen. I want to break free. I was looking forward to that. They are all chess pieces. What did you hear? Uh, we had uh, Nat King Cole, Mona Lisa. We but had. Um, Every night, come as you are. Yeah. That's right. First one, didn't recognise that. On yeah. and on, Stephen Bishop. Bishop, yeah, Knight, yeah. King, all chess pieces coming in after three clues. You get two points. Very well done. Bookworms, over to you to choose a question. Uh, could I have the line, please? You certainly could. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Well, what's this show? Is it a game? The game might go on chess. Okay, just so it's... it's in. Um, next, please. 15 by 15 on a black and white grid. I think, I think it's 15 by 15, but should we take another one? Um, yeah, I'm not okay. sure. So, um, uh, next, please. Oh, oh, it's got a cross red with, cross with it's four. A red cross with four. Little red crosses. So, oh, is it? Is it? Um, it's got lines of symmetry then. Four. So, yeah, lines of symmetry. I thought four. Oh, I think it's. <laughs> um, is this lines of symmetry? What sort of symmetry? Um, so, two lines, so there's horizontal and uh, vertical symmetry. Not an acceptable connection, I'm afraid. That doesn't apply. So, headliners, you've got the chance of a bonus point. Rotational, Rotational symmetry. That's it. You're unlucky, because it is symmetry, but what you described there doesn't apply to all the clues, doesn't apply to the Times crossword grid, for example. It is rotational symmetry. If you turn them upside down, they'd look the same. Are you familiar with shogi? Do you know what that is? It's um, some sort of, uh, I think, Japanese board game. Yeah, it's sort of Japanese chess. It's a bit like chess. It has knights and bishops, or as I call them, Beverly Knights and Stephen Bishops. Yes. It has those, but uh, it also has rotational symmetry, Japanese chess, times crossword grid, of course. You correctly described the flag of Georgia and an S as well, rotational symmetry. So you get a bonus point to headliners, and what would you like as a question? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. White heater technology. Next, please. Funk antenna removed. Twenty eleven. Here it is. Oh, 
Next, please. Post office tower, isn't it? Yes. The post office tower or the telecom tower? The connection is the telecom tower, the BT tower, or the post office tower, all of those things you didn't need to see. The fourth clue, rotating restaurant closed. What are we talking about at Clue 3? Uh, that's from the goodies episode, Kitten Kong. Very good <laughs> goodies knowledge. And uh, here's the thing about the, uh, the BT Tower or the Post Office Tower. It's officially, or it was, an official secret. So taking oh, or yeah. possessing photos of it <laughs> was technically was banned under the Official Secrets Act. I'm not really sure why, but it was a secret thing. Yes, opened by Harold Wilson. It had defunct antennae removed. Various comical things happened to it in the goodies. Things that happened to the BT or Post Office Tower, well done. Bookworms, what would you like next? Uh, the Horned Viper, please. OK. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. There was such a circles round them, I think. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, so that would check for you, so I should get another clue. Yeah. 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 So. And next, please. That's where it has all the sort of story things. Yeah, so it's got the list of things. Next, please. Three seconds. Um, is it Walk of Shame or Something of Shame? They are all something of shame. Yes, walk of shame is something on the weakest link, but all something of shame. What are the other ones? I guess Berlin Wall was wall of shame. Yes, it was uh, Willie or Willy Brandt. He was the mayor of West Berlin. He said it was the wall of shame. Celebrity imperfections in heat. You know what that is? They have a, a circle round, round them. They have the circle of shame. It's the circle of shame. It's practically a circle they draw round bits of the bodies of people from the television they don't think are right. I've never been in Heat magazine. I'd like to be in there with a the ring round my entire body and face, just the whole thing. Circle of shame. And what about this third clue? This, is this normally where they put the, what the, the stories they think are most reprehensible? It's known informally, not officially, as the sidebar of shame. Whether that's because they're trying to shame the people who appear in it or you should be ashamed of yourself for looking at it, I'm not sure. But all something of shame. Well done. Headliners, what next for you? Twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Do you know which film that is? Cloud Atlas. Cloud Atlas. Cloud Atlas. Could be. Talk about clouds or atlases. Next, please. Oh, it's being, it's being, being moved. Is it, is it being, are they being substituted or, or yes, something? Yes, 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 yes. But the, the blue well is coming out, isn't it? And no, the blue well is moving in. Moving in. The, 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 the we think they're substitutes. They are substitutes or replacements. You didn't need to see the last one. One World Trade Centre. What are we talking about? Tell me a bit about the clues. Uh, Matthias? Yeah, I think Matthias was a sub for Judas when he dropped out. <laughs> a and, uh... sub. Yeah, he came <laughs> off the subs bench yeah. for Judas. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Ben Wishaw is a Peruvian. Was this Cloud Atlas, the film? Oh, I it. No, it's that great Peruvian Paddington bear oh, yes, in yes, the Paddington yes, film. Yes, Colin, Colin Firth, Firth was doing the voice, and then yes. Colin Firth said that he came to feel his voice wasn't right for the character, so he was going to consciously uncouple that's from it, and the role yes. went to Ben Wishaw. Yes. And, and what's this Kensington Blue Whale? It's the natural history, natural history museum. museum. It's replacing the uh, Dippy, the Diplodocus. That's Dip right. There was a Diplodocus there. Before the Diplodocus, there was sometimes a blue whale in the Natural History Museum, and sometimes there were elephants. And then there was the, the, the dinosaur for a long time, but uh, replaced by a blue whale, Kensington denoting the area that the Natural History Museum is. Well done. So one question remains for you, bookworms. Water. Drink deep of that question. They are going to be picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. So Steve Jobs with Next, please. That's a man of books. I don't recognise I, I, I don't know who he is. So, uh, next, please. That's, uh, That's golf or polo. Polo 
Yeah, that's in the market, apparently. So, yeah. Go 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 go. He's linked by uh, Polo. Good gamble. You didn't need to see the game of Polo at clue four. So, coming in after three clues, you get two points. Yes, it's very mean, isn't it, the first one? It is Steve Jobs, you're right, but it's not about Steve Jobs or the gadget. It's the polo neck that he's wearing. You correctly surmise it's Marco Polo at clue two, so polo is the connection. At the end of round one, the bookworms have three points, the headliners have seven. <laughs> Sequence is time now. The teams must tell me what comes fourth. Headliners, you'll be going... First again, you may see a maximum of three clues before giving me the answer, but which clues? Your choice. Uh, water, please. Water. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Tigris, the river of Tigris, you're free to uh, Next, please. Oh, is it Thor Heyerdahl's boats? So we roll one, Contiki. Contiki. You're too good. Coming in after two clues, you get three points. The answer is Contiki and why? They are Thor Heyerdahl's boats. They are the craft, craft of the Norwegian adventurer Thor Heyerdahl. Contiki was the first one. Do you know where that went? I think uh, it was the Amazon. It was Not across sure. the Pacific oh. in 1947. That was his first voyage. There were only four voyages. So we're going from the fourth to the first. Contiki is the right answer. Well done. Bookworms, what would you like? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What would come forth in this sequence? They're going to be picture clues, so I'd like you to describe exactly what you think you'd be looking at. Here's the first. OK. Um, no, I don't think it's a bag. I don't think that's a bag. Yes. Sure. So, uh, next, please. That's got the pattern for you. Portugal. I, I don't really know. That's the passage. Next, please. Ooh. Oh, this is... <laughs> I take it of some kind. Right, so good. Three seconds. I'm going to go with uh, the left half green and the right half uh, blue. I'm going to give you one more go. No, uh... no it's too long, I'm afraid. So, headline is you've got the chance for bonus point. Left half three quarter green and then right half one quarter. Blue. Left half three quarter green, right half one quarter blue. That's not it either. And for a bonus, I'm going to be really mean about the maths. It is green and blue. Why were you saying three quarters green and a quarter blue? Duncan? Because you went, ooh, when they were. <laughs> 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 What's a shame you didn't go for 60% green oh. and 40% blue. I tell you what this is, Monopoly properties. Oh. So we're looking at depictions of the brown set, oh. which is the old Kent Road Whitechapel, yeah. and then the pale blue, the Angel Islington, Newston oh. Road, Pentonville Road. So oh. I want to hear yeah. the yeah. green set, Regent Street, Oxford Street, oh. Bond yeah. Street, oh. and then Park Lane and Mayfair, but there's three of one property and two of yes. another, so it's yes. 60%, yes. 40%. Yes. I needed the exact maths. Headliners, what would you like? Horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh, Batman. Isn't it? Batman. 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 Yeah. So it's the dog. No, which the oh, No, it, hang on. It's, it's these are the Tim Burton ones, aren't they? It's Batman. Yeah. Next, please. Robin. Oh no, it's Batman. Robin. Robin. Oh, what's it called? Oh, Three seconds. Dark uh, the, the Dark Knight. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So a bonus chance for you now, bookworms. Uh, is it begins? It is begins. You're going to kick yes. yourselves because you were thinking of begins. Yeah. Why is it begins? What's the sequence? I think it's Batman. Is it Batman films or films going in backwards in chronological order? No, they're not. Yeah, they're going forwards, forwards, but we're not forwards. starting with the first film. Yeah. And begins the it's beginning the of the Christopher, Christopher Nolan, Nolan yeah. reboot isn't the first film either. So Batman Returns. That was the last one that Michael Keaton did. And then we're going forwards through time with a diff different Batman every time. Who played Batman in Batman Forever, do you know? Kilmer. That was Val Kilmer. Batman and Robin? Was that Clooney. Clooney. It was George Clooney. Yes, lovely. Happy memories there. And Batman Begins, who's uh, Batman in that? Uh, Christian Bale. Bale. Christian Bale, that's right. So we are going forwards through time. We're just not starting at the beginning. That was the twist there. 
So well done, book ones. You get a bonus point and you get to choose a question. Uh, can I have the two reads, please? You certainly could. And what would come forth in this sequence is the first. Mine look a lot. Three units. No, it's not three units. It's not three units. It's not five sets. Keep going. Okay, so next, please. Half a glass of water equals zero. Any amount of water equals zero, of course, because zero, how many times you multiply it, you still get zero. That is an acceptable answer. And what is the connection? Are these Weight Watchers <laughs> points? They absolutely are. It's Weight Watchers Pro points. It's a complicated Weight Watchers system. So if you had half a pint of lager, that would be three points. 25 millilitres of gin is two, apple juice is one. So there are various things that are naught, diet, drinks, water, so half of a glass or any amount. So how many points in this glass? Is it gin or is it water? That's between me and my conscience. <laughs> well done, any amount of water for zero. Headliners, what would you like? Lion, please. Lion. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Seven equals 900. Next, please. Six. Oh, is it internal angles of a pentagon or something like that? Of a polygon? Some of the internal angles. So it'd be four, four equals 360. Four, three, six, yeah. four equals 360. Yes, it does. Coming in after two clues, you get three points. Why? It's the sum of the internal angles of polygons. That's absolutely right. And what Going does the 765 mean? Uh, seven sides. 900 exactly. degrees. And so, so a seven-sided yeah, polygon, 900, yeah. would be the internal angles in degrees. So a four-sided polygon, 360 degrees. Well done. Bookworms, one remaining. It's the twisted flax this time. Can you tell me what comes forth in this sequence? Time starts now. Oh. Stop it. Um, one. Dave, no, well, not Dave Beckham. Pray for mention, nothing went online to press the North End. So this could be clubs of Dave Beckham went to Real Madrid and he went to LA Galaxy. Has he got the fourth so, one? Yeah, so it could be Paris Saint Germain is what they're doing to. Because the bracket's sort of like the Sierra Link I read. Well, shall we go? Got back. Wow, you. you've come in after one. Looking at that first clue, I want you to tell me exactly what you expect to see. Fourth? Uh, Paris Saint Germain. Look at the first clue. Keep talking. Paris Saint-Germain and LA Galaxy in brackets. Not the answer, I'm afraid, so I have to show the next two in a sequence to the headliners for a possible bonus point. And I think the answer is LA Galaxy with Paris Saint-Germain in brackets. That's not it either. You were much closer, Bookworms, and you There's nearly it. got the Paris dramatic five points. Paris Saint-Germain with none in brackets. Paris Saint-Germain, brackets, none. I heard you saying to each other, while at Manchester United, David Beckham went on loan to Preston North End. So it is a sequence of David Beckham's clubs within brackets clubs that he was loaned to during that time. And Paris Saint-Germain, he was loaned nowhere. Unlucky, but uh, good gamble. Mm. So, at the end of round two, the bookworms have six points, the headliners have 13. <laughs> Time for the infamous connecting wall now, the 16 jumbled up clues that the teams need to sort into four connected groups of four. Bookworms, it'll be your turn to go first this time. Would you like lion or water? Uh, can we go with the lion, please? I should think so. You've got two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. Um, so there's some, uh, so Zabby, Virgin, H and B, Rock, Ray, I think, so Ray, I'll, I'll press. I'll press. So you go Good. Zabby, I'll press, Vir Virgin, H and B. Which, 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 which one's the yeah. other, um, I think... Rock, Ray, the record. Zabby went out of business, I'll press, Rock, went out of business. Well. There's Black Blackpool in there. No, Black the, Black the, Black the Golden Mile. So yeah. Golden Mile, Mile, Tower. The Illuminations. Illuminations and Winter Girl. That's yeah. one. I've got Solomon Islands. Solomon. So I've got Islands. Virgin Islands, South Sandwich, Solomon, 
Windward Islands. I think they're the only islands. Windward, Virgin, Solomon, and Southside. Three strikes now, you've got plenty of time. I think the dance moves. Don't sit over the dance moves. Promenade. Promenade, Supplies. And Grand Square? I can't think of a music shop with. Yeah. yeah. So dirty down. I can't think of a. Well, Zavi, our price, rough trade, and HMV are definitely music. record, le record shops. shops. Well, we've got the Virgin, so. Well, yeah, it must be. So, should we go across there? Yeah. That's it. You have solved the wall. Very well done. What about the connections? The first blue group, Winter Gardens, Illuminations, Tower, Golden Mile. Um, things you can see in Blackpool? They are all associated with lovely Blackpool. The green group, South Sandwich, Solomon, Virgin, Windward. Um, are these archipelagos and island, island groups? They are island groups. The pink group, Grand Square, do si -do, Almond or Almond Left Promenade. Are these sort of dance manoeuvres? I need to hear something specific. Country, 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 country dance. dance. Country dance moves. Folk construction instruments, I think. You're not telling me the thing I need to hear, I'm afraid, and the clue is almost literally staring you in the face, it's square dancing. The Grand Square, of course, square dancing, do -si do it's particularly American square dancing moves. And the last group, Zavi, R Price, Rough Trade, HMV. Now oh, these are record shops. They are all record shops, so that is four points for the groups and three for the connections, total of seven. Let's crack open the water wall now and serve it up to the headliners. They still have two and a half minutes to solve it. Good luck, your time starts now. Take this is crazy in love, see Quake, Halo Crave, I check if I were a boy, Macron, Deus Ex, Deja Vu, Fringe, Call of Duty, Circle Flex, Doom, Sedilla. So there's computer games, yeah, there's also there's Beyonce. Beyonce. There's uh, Mark's um, oh, Sedilla, um, uh, Graf, there, there are tons of accents on there. And Halo? Uh, yep. No. no. Uh, Second Flex. Second Flex. Yes. No. OK, let's see about uh, Graf. Is that right? No, to be yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. Yes, this one. Check one. No. Which one do, do we? Uh, no. Okay, let's go. Let's okay. do. Let's do games. Yeah, yeah. Halo, Time Crisis. Yeah, yeah, Quake. 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 Doom. Doom. Call of Duty hasn't got a capital D. Um, um, Crazy. Um, so. Freeze Fringe game. Uh, I'll be on safe. Uh, Halo. Quake. Uh, 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 Deja Vu. Yes. yes. Okay, so the game's game. Right. Deus Ex Machina. Deus Ex. Is that the game? Is that the game? Yeah. Yep. Christ. Yep, excellent. Right, okay. Three strikes and you're out. Now okay. you're halfway so through the time. Is it a crawler? We didn't try that one. Uh, C. C. These are called T. Cringe has got something before it. What's that check? Isn't that, isn't that person, isn't that? Fringe. The writer is saying fringe. Uh, blue sea, blue fringe. Oh dear. Um, okay, I think we need to. Yeah, um, so, it's a Dilla, Graph, Circleflex. Circle Circle Flex. And. and oh, tree, yeah. Have you tried to make four? No, okay. Yes. Hatching. See, it's free. Have we tried hatching, didn't we? With those. What are the others? C, Fringe, Call of Duty, Edinburgh Fringe, Lunatic Fringe, uh, Call of Duty, um, means going to the toilet, C, yeah, try Fringe. No, no, no. One more go. In uh, ten seconds. Cross, Delagraph, Fringe. Yep. No. No. That's it, that's your three lives. The wall is frozen, but you found two groups, and I can give you points for the connections. Crazy in Love, Halo, If I Were a Boy, Deja Vu. We think these are all songs by Beyonce. They are Beyonce songs. What about this green group, Time Crisis, Quake, Deus Ex, Doom? Uh, computer games. Well, now, that is a very big category. Combat games. First-person shooters. That is what they would be known as, first-person shooters. Yes, you have the fun or horror, depending on your point of view, of right. shooting various sort of baddies. Mm. Yep. And you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. There you go. C, Grave, Fringe, Call of Duty. Uh, something military or navy. No, you're or not seeing it. It is a word one. Beyond the. 
beyond the sea, beyond the grave, beyond the fringe, yes, beyond the call yes, of duty. Yes, yes. I think going to the toilet would be call of nature. It probably no, would. Uh, yes. Call yes. Of, yes. I mean, yeah. at the moment, I'm feeling the call of duty 87 times a day, so right. I'm going to say that would be <laughs> nature, yeah. but yes. beyond. And the last group, hat check, or all other yes. ways of pronouncing it, Macron's circumflex sedilla. Uh, accents. Um, or diacritics? Is that the they are more properly known as diacritics. Yeah. Well done, yes. Mm. Little squiggles you put on letters. Diacritics is the proper name. So two points for the groups you found and three for the connections. That is a total of five. Let's have a look at the scores. The bookworms have 13 points. The headliners have 18. So who is staying and who is going home? We will find that out at the end of the missing vowels round. What are the disguise clues from which we've removed the vowels? and squidged up the consonants. That's what you have to tell me, teams. Fingers on buzzers. The first group are all hot topics during the Scottish independence debate. Bookworms. Trident missiles. Correct. Bookworms. Devo Max. Correct. Bookworms. North Sea Oil. Yes, it is. Bookworms. West Lovian question. Correct. Next category, things you can take. Bookworms. Seat. Correct. Headliners. Hike. Correct. Headliners. Dive. Correct. Headliners. Leaf from someone's book. Not it, I'm afraid. Bookworms, do you know? A uh, leaf out of someone's book. That's right, you need another M for from. Next category, tournament formats. Bookworms. Knockout. Correct. Bookworms. Round robin. Correct. Bookworms. Double elimination. Yes, it is. Headliners. Leaf. Correct. Next category. Painters of hundred million dollar paintings. Headliners. Paul Cezanne. Correct. Bookworms. Edvard Munch. Correct. Headliners. No time to tell me that would have been Willem de Kooning, but the bell has gone for the end of the quiz. And after an incredibly dramatic round four, the winners with 23 points are the Bookworms. And finishing second with an excellent 21 points, it's their headliners. <laughs> My word, headliners, you had a brilliant quiz. You were leading all the way, <laughs> but just out pipped in the missing vowels. I'm so sorry. We have to say goodbye. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Well done to you, Bookworms. Amazing round four stuff to clinch victory from the jaws of defeat. <sighs> a very tense night. Yes, it is sad but inevitable that at this stage of the competition, teams start to bite the dust. Still, at least it's tastier than those green room cookies. Goodbye. <laughs>